you happy now you're outside? <laughs> yes, I'm happy now we're outside. Welcome. <laughs> well, hello, strange people. Welcome back to the channel. We're uh, off up to uh, have a look at something a little bit different today for uh, this channel. We've got a few days off work. My car's broken down, so we're not going to be going any great distances for a while. Uh, we had hoped to be on a camp, but uh, a long way away, but that's uh, obviously been scuppered. So, we're going to do something a little bit different, and I'll bring you back in a moment. You stop being cheeky now? Yes, dear. Stop being grumpy now. Bloody women. So behind me, I don't know if you can see Amanda up there, she's actually standing on the wall. She's actually standing on the wall of a um, Iron Age hill fort. It's roughly 2,000 years old, so it's sort of mid to late Iron Age, really. But um, A lot of people that come here don't actually realise that it's a hill fort as well as something else which we'll bring you back for in a second. moving. Well, we just had a little bit of drama, a little bit of nature, mother nature at work. We, uh, when we got up here, and you'll see from the footage, there's a sheep, and it seemed to have a dead lamb with it, a freshly born dead lamb. We've been here, what, 15 minutes now? We've been watching for the last 15 minutes, and the mother's been nudging and cajoling the, uh, the lamb. And uh, it's finally, it's finally stood up and it seems to be feeding, so we were, we were absolutely convinced the lamb was dead, it wasn't moving. I've come around the back out of the uh, wind a little bit. This is uh, English, England's might even be the UK's fourth smallest working church and it's England's highest church so it's not it's a very tiny church there is a reason for it for being tiny so 
The story behind the church is, yeah, look at that, isn't it lovely? So the story behind the church is that a few years ago now, um, the devil was roaming around in this area and uh, he got a bit bored and from up here you can actually see the sea. And as he was wandering around, he noticed a ship coming into the harbour down there in Plymouth. And uh, he thought he'd have a bit of fun with the ship. So he uh, whipped up a storm. And there's a hell of a storm going. A hell of a storm. And that ship was getting tossed and turned and tossed and turned. And uh, on board the ship was a merchant. And um, he prayed to St. Michael. And he uh, asked for uh, if St. Michael delivered him from uh, the storm, that he would uh, build a church on the highest, first highest point that he saw. So St. Michael thought, that's a bloody good uh, idea. I shall uh, get you out of the storm. So uh, that's what he did. He overpowered the devil and the ship came into the harbour perfectly okay. So the, uh, the very thankful merchant decided he was going to build his church up here on this, this rock was the first high point that he actually saw when he came over the hill all the way back down down there you probably won't be able to see the sea but the sea is down there I promise you so uh, he come up here and he put a lot of struggle because it's a long way up with a lot of struggle he managed to get all the stone and everything up here to build the church the devil wasn't going to give up easy so he came up here and he throwed, <laughs> I can't keep this accent up much longer, he threw the uh, stone all around the uh, outskirts of the hill here and uh, the merchant just kept spending money to have the stone brought back up and in the end he started running out of money. And St. Michael saw what was happening and uh, he threw one of the girt big rocks at the devil and chased the devil off. But by then the merchant had run out of money so he could no longer bring all the stone back up here. So that's why the church is so small. He, did, he ran out of money and he couldn't afford to... Uh, build a big church, which is what he'd intended to do in the first place. And that's an absolutely true story, that is. Right, well, it might not be. The church was actually first started around 11.30. It's about half past two now, so it's been around for a while. It's by a chap named Gifford, a Norman lord. Uh, as I say, he started the uh, he started the um, church here. The church as we see it now is roughly, not roughly, is um, 1300, 1400s ish. Gravestone there, look, up on the wall, 1681. The, uh, the youngest grave we've seen here so far has been uh, 2001. Uh, but it is still a working church. You can, as far as I know, you can still get married. There are services up here, which uh, probably isn't a lot of fun in the winter. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. This is the church of St. Michael de la de Root which means uh, take Mike on the rock.
Might be a bit dark, I haven't got any uh I haven't got any lighting with me. Oh it's not too bad. It's the bell tower. There's Amanda. And there's a beautiful stained glass window. Of St. Michael. It's lovely in here, isn't it? Sorry? I thought they were candles. No, it is. Is it electric? That's gas lights, yeah. Is that what they are? Yeah, it's gas. That's an electric light up there, so whether they've got a solar panel in here, I don't know. Well, there is obviously electricity up here. Now there's a sign of the times, look. You can, have post, you can buy postcards here. Yeah. I need some postcards. Oh, you're very nice. You're going to buy a postcard, are you? I don't know. I'd say I could have a shot in it with the snow on it. What, that one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you hold it up for the camera? No, all right, well then I'll do it, it's okay. Not a pretty shot. Sunset, yeah, it'd be nice to get a sunset up here. Amanda's saying she wants to get on the roof because it looks like a castle. And I'm a princess! And you're a princess. Is that right? Right, so I think we'll leave it here. Tomorrow, hopefully, with our day off, we'll be uh, on the north coast of Cornwall. Hopefully. So, uh, have you got anything you want to say? Can't see her because okay. she's blown out. All she ever wants to do is go home. Right. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers then.